Hello and welcome to Coffee Break. My name is Michael Murat. This is number 37 in a series of Coffee Breaks dealing with the sufferings and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ as we approach Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday. I'm going to be reading today beginning in the Gospel of John chapter 20, verse 5. And he, referring to John, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen clothes lying, yet went he not in. Then cometh Simon Peter following him, and went into the sepulchre, and seeth the linen clothes lying there, and the cloth that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Roman soldiers were instructed to guard the tomb of the Lord Jesus Christ and to prevent anyone from stealing his body. Roman soldiers took their job seriously because if they failed, if they lost a prisoner, or if they failed to guard this tomb, those Roman soldiers would be put to death for failing. Later, the Jews are going to say that the Lord's disciples took the body. That is a pathetic attempt to explain away the clear evidence of the resurrection. What a pitiful lie that is. Just think about it. If you're going to sneak a body out of a tomb that is being guarded by Roman soldiers who are sworn to their own death to guard that body, if you're going to get there and you're going to move that multi-ton stone without the Roman soldiers hearing you, observing you, good luck with that, and then you're going to get in the tomb again with those soldiers guarding it, and your object is to steal the body, you're going to leave that body wrapped up. And you're just going to get out of there as fast as you possibly can. You sure do not lay all the linen out nice and neat, which it was. The linen that was covering Jesus' body was laid out as if he just passed right through it, which obviously he did. You don't do that if you're a grave robber. You're going to unwind all those, those clothes, and then you're going to put it back on the slab, nice and neat, as if Jesus passed right through it. And then you're also going to fold up the head napkin and put that someplace separate? I know neatness counts, but not if you're a grave robber. Not if you're robbing a grave guarded by Roman soldiers who will kill you on the spot. Jesus came back from the dead after he was crucified, just like he said he would. Three days later, this has been Michael Moret with another coffee break.